takes one defeat at the hands of India for former Pakistani cricketers to turn their racist and communal best. Kamran Akmal and Ijaz Ahmed are the latest in a long list of Pakistanis, including Wakar Yunus, Wasim Akram and Abdul Razak to have passed discriminatory statements against players of both sides. Hello and welcome to The Print. I am Deb Datta and you are watching Go to Pakistan. Now, during a talk show amid the India-Pakistan T20 match on Sunday, former wicketkeeper Kamran Akmal made disparaging remarks against India's left-arm pacer Arshdeep Singh. Ahmad, on the other hand, blamed Pakistan's loss on the team's ethnic composition, saying that it has a higher number of Pashtun players. Well, Akmal has got a response from none other than former Indian spinner Harbhajan Singh himself, Ahmad was criticised by Pakistanis themselves for his pathetic racism. Akmal, while chuckling with the panelists, had remarked, Kuch bhi ho sakta hai, dekhe, last over karna Arshdeep Singh ne hai, waise uska rhythm nahi laga, bara baj gaye hai, which loosely translates to, anything can happen. Arshdeep Singh is bowling the last over, but he hasn't found his rhythm yet. It seems it's already 12 o'clock. This is a reference to an old offensive stereotype about six. Harbhajan Singh soon took to Twitter to call him out. The former off-spinner never once to mince words, fired back at Akmal and said, You should know the history of six before you open your filthy mouth. We six have saved your mothers and sisters when they were abducted by invaders. The time invariably was 12 o'clock. Shame on you, have some gratitude. Akmal later issued an apology, but the damage was done. Both Indian and Pakistani cricket fans rained down on him. Even Imran Khan was brought in when a PTI supporter said that only Khan knew when to say what, whereas players like Akmal lack the intellect. In 2021, Wakar Yunus had to apologise for a communal comment after Pakistan's T20 World Cup win against India where he praised Mohammad Rizwan for doing namaz in front of Hindus. In 2019, former cricketer Shoei Bakhtar had invited controversy by highlighting the discrimination faced by Danish Kaneria, who is a Pakistani Hindu cricketer. In 2023, Abdul Razak faced criticism for comparing Ashwarya Rai Bachchan with bad morals and intent following Pakistan's World Cup exit. Pakistanis had strongly condemned his remarks and called for an apology. In 2019, Imran Khan had called the Pakistan team a bunch of relu kattus, which is a disparaging term used for a lazy person. Wasim Akram perhaps took inspiration in 2023 when he used a casteist slur on live television. In October 2023, Pakistanis had called out their own media channel, Cricket Pakistan, after it had highlighted an unusual issue, the lack of beef in Pakistan cricket team's diet during their time in India. Now, after Pakistan's loss to India on Sunday, former player Ijaz Ahmed made a comment on national TV blaming Pashtun players for the defeat, stating that 80% of the team's players are Pashtuns, most of them are uneducated villagers and their only exposure is to go to the mosque. Thus, they cannot bear the pressure resulting in defeat. His rant went unchallenged by the hosts and panellists which included Akmal again. However, former Dawn journalist Abbas Nasir tweeted, Pathetic racism. I wonder if Ijaz finished his cricket career with his reputation intact or was he one of those who faced fixing charges? He and Kamran Akmal on the panel with him are so refined and educated and yet they say that it is only the Pakhtun players who as per him have no education or exposure. Another Twitter user asked, I wonder why our anchors don't slap down casual racism on their show. Journalist Zubair Ali Khan also tweeted saying that this is a very irresponsible conversation on a national TV channel. There are more Pathans in the team because there is more talent. A Pakistani fan wrote, I hope this does not turn into a Pashtun versus Punjabis. Shame on Ijaz Ahmed for spewing this filth. Soon, Salman Iqbal, who is the founder and CEO of ARY TV where the debate was aired, distanced himself from the comments and also asked Ahmed to issue an apology. In a tweet, he said, what was said at Kashif Abbasi's show by Ijaz Ahmed is not acceptable by the ARY management and me personally. I have a huge respect for the Pakhtun community and all the communities we have in Pakistan. I think that Ijaz Ahmed should apologize to the community for his statement. In all of this animosity, ex-players Shahid Afridi and Yuvraj Singh perhaps set better examples. 
A viral video of the two players show Afridi speaking about how Singh had congratulated him when Pakistan seemed to be winning. In true sportsmanship spirit, Singh adds, Wins and losses are part of our lives, but the love between us should always remain.